So, Alex, you're back. I'm back. Alex, the girl that sat in lesbian row because she's an actress and wanted to be noticed, I put her on TV like a fool. <laughs> Then you were on two nights. And then I heard that you had applied to the internship program here. I did, yeah. You're an ambitious little spud, aren't you? <laughs> well, Alex, I've got news for you. Mm -hmm. You got the position. I did. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex? That's great. Alex? It, it's an unpaid position. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that you got it was nothing to do with me. <laughs> I have no power around here, but many of our interns go on to great things. Case in point, the wonderful Bridger. Come forth, Bridger. Come on forth. Bridger, this is Alex. Alex, this is Bridger. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is awesome. It's like a show where you get to meet new friends. <laughs> Well, you know, Bridger uh, used to be an intern here. Okay. Yeah, but now Bridger is a production assistant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bridger! Bridger, can you tell young Alex here what her duties will be as an intern? Um, help me clean up the catering. <laughs> and what's the, uh, what are the duties of the production assistant? Um, get the catering. <laughs> But Bridger, you're the big man on campus here. I want you. I want you. You're about the right age with Alex. You guys are the same height, similar coloring. I, uh, <laughs> I'd like you. I'd like you to shore her around and shore the ropes. You know, and uh, and uh, no funny business. <laughs> I'm setting you up, man. <laughs> Do you hear me? Uh, this is nothing. You don't worry about no, this. I'm not being no, I'm there's that. Uh, you know, don't. I mean, I don't want any of that uh, jiggery pokery going on here. <laughs> <laughs> now you kids be fine, and uh, you get her home by eleven. She's like a daughter to me. <laughs> and and you, careful for him. He's a wild man. Oh. <laughs> right now, you kids, off you go and uh, start doing things with catering or whatever you do, and. <laughs> And you, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> and you, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Alex and Bridger, everybody. There you go. Now, what, this is the best part. What Alex and Bridger don't know is that we have secret cameras following them around all the time. <laughs> And we've got little chips put in their bodies so that their GPS equipment can follow them wherever they go in the world. Now, that's not true, but if it was, wouldn't it be awesome? That would be a TV show. Unfortunately, it's just another night of the... Right, we'll be right back. Sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I am by very excited to be here this evening <laughs> and I can tell you're genuine in your enthusiasm for my new look <laughs> Thank you. It's, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, it's my new look. It's completely different from all the other a million times I've come out here dressed like a moderately successful used car salesman. <laughs> for America, everybody, isn't it? And as the, I... Did you watch, did you watch the Republican, uh, Republican debate tonight? I did. I watched it because we are live, of course, and I was watching it before I came out here. Shut up! Uh, <laughs> it was in the Venetian hell, uh, hell, Venetian hell? <laughs> Venetian hotel and casino in Las Vegas. Vegas is a weird place for politics, though. Why would something known for sleaze bags and prostitutes and gambling want to be associated with Las Vegas? Uh -huh. I see what you did, Craig. Yeah. Fix, fix, fix my mic a little bit. You can't hear me? It's going ha? Yeah. No, I was actually going ha. <laughs> is that better? Is it? Is it? it no. <laughs> Is that all right? Is it working? It's not working? Well, Chris, come on out and meet the ladies and gentlemen then, please. Of course, this is when, uh, you know, a proper television show would stop and, uh... Yeah, you nearly bumped into the skeleton there, did you? What do you mean? You... Now I'm wearing two. Well, that works. You know, this town's a mess. This whole town is a mess. You know why? It was because Clinton was here last weekend. It's true. He was uh, he's had his birthday celebration at the Hollywood Bowl. It was, he had a, there was a performance by Lady Gaga. <laughs> yes! It got... <laughs> yes! I, I got, it got a little awkward when Lady Gaga asked Bill if he liked Poker Face. <laughs> and he's like, Hillary is right there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, but she's probably. <laughs> it's a great day for the uh, state of Alaska today as well. Uh, congratulations, Alaska. And it's, uh, it's Alaska Day today. Yeah, it's a big holiday up there. It was on this day in 1867, the United States bought Alaska from the Russians. And in about six months from now, we'll probably sell it to China. Aye, it's a joke. It's a joke. We get a graphic for Alaska Day. Have a come on. Yeah. Sarah Palin is now Alaska. All right. You know, by, by uh, sheer coincidence, Sarah Palin's daughter, Bristol, turns 21 today. So happy birthday, Bristol. I hope she's careful now because, you know, you're 21, you, you can drink. And, and drink, drinking alcohol sometimes leads to sleeping with people you probably shouldn't sleep with. <laughs> That'll never happen. I'm going to do something very unusual for a late-night douchebag now. I, uh... <laughs> No, I'm going to defend Sarah Palin a little bit, actually. I, I am. Just a little... No, because a lot of people say, think that she said, I can see Russia from my house, but she never said that. That was a sketch from Saturday Night Live. That was Tina Fey. For some reason, people thought it was true. You should never believe stuff that you see on TV. Trust me. <laughs> No, it's true. Yeah, I, for years I thought uh, Dr. Phil was a real doctor. <laughs> and and I, I let him check my prostate. <laughs> you don't need a medical degree to check my prostate. All you, all you need is a cheeky smile and warm hands. <laughs> or cold hands. Just a hand. Well, what Sarah Palin actually said was you can see uh, Russia from parts of Alaska. And that's actually true. You can see Russia from the Alaskan Islands. Uh, it's only three miles from Russia. So uh, you can be in Alaska and feel the charismatic sex power vibrating <laughs> off, of, off of Vladimir Putin. <laughs> you, you got a picture of Putin? Look at that. What? I know. That, that's, that's, he's like, yeah. Look at, let me see that. Look, that, that is one... Pumped up Oompa Loompa right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if you're an idiot and you don't know where Alaska is, we have a map. Do we see the map there? You got the map? There you are, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right so now, you see that we. Mesopotamia and uh, chicken. There's a. Now, th we didn't make that up. In eastern Alaska, there's a town called Chicken. 
know if the people who named it were just lazy or they just really liked chicken. Uh, what do we call this town? I don't know. What about chicken? Fine, let's go to Popeyes. <laughs> You know the population of chicken, I think, is what, seven people? Isn't it? Seven, seven, seven people. Seven people! I've slept with more people than live in chicken! I, I have slept with more people than live in the entire population of that town. Mind you, I could say that about, about Chicago, but still! No, I couldn't. Well, not at the same time. I know, they've got strange town names in Alaska, is what I'm saying. One of them is called Dead Horse, and another town is called, and I'm not making this up, Manly Hot Springs. <laughs> Which is also the name of a club that Jeff goes to in West Hollywood, right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, a lot of women go to Alaska to find a husband because a lot, there's a lot more men up there than women. I imagine men go up there for the same reason. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I just wondered if you'd ever been to Alaska. You were there too. No, I've never been to Alaska. You must be thinking of someone else. And when I say shinking, I mean thinking. Sometimes I say shinking because I am from Scotland originally and so is Sean Connery and we talk like this sometimes. <laughs> Shinking. Shinking, yes. I'm shinking that perhaps, Jeff, you have been to Alaska and enjoyed the company of a man sexually. As a matter of fact, I have. Yeah. Sure. Tonight is the night when we finally throw down and have a Connery off, is it? That right. Because you know, Jeff, there can be only one. Well, let's see what you've got, Highlander. No, I think I, I think I have a little bit of Regis creeping in there. Oh, you're right. There's my Regis. Oh, Damn it. <laughs> All right, you do Regis and I'll do uh, Big Sean and we'll do the commercial break. So, Jeff, right. would you like to take the ladies... Oh, no, I mean Regis. <laughs> Regis, would you like to take the ladies and gentlemen to the commercial break? I'd love to, if you'll be my date to Manly Hot Springs. <laughs> I, I'd love to. We'll be right back. You're probably thinking, Craig, what are you doing standing up? You should be over there getting ready for the emails. Well, I would normally, but we're not going to do the... Well, we might get to some emails later, but, but we've got some pretty impressive guests tonight. Right, Jeff? Oh, it's going to be amazing. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> our, our first guest today, an Oscar-nominated actress. I mean, come on! I mean, come on, I mean, people. come on! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She didn't win. <laughs> she was nominated, though. If she won, she'd be on NBC. But the... Oh, man. She's got a new film based on exactly what I'm doing right now. It's called Shame. It's in theatres. December the 2nd, please welcome the absolutely spectacular Carrie Mulligan, everybody. Carrie Mulligan. You dear, are you all right? Yeah. I, I, I'm so, you look great, by Thanks. the way. I, I, I mean, just, I always, now I'm, I've been tugging at my dress and I can't walk, in, I do this every time. Well, I'll, I'll tug at your dress if you want, <laughs> but I, I think it'll look a little creepy if you don't mind my saying so, but I'll do it. I'm, for show business, I'll do it. I'm sorry about bringing that Oscar thing up. That was such a stupid thing to say. I feel so awful. It's fine. All right. <laughs> feel, your dress is very nice, though. Yeah, I've got to get to MBC. No! What the hell? Have you ever been on Leno? I uh, have. Oh, and on a show too? <laughs> he's great, isn't he? Uh, Jay, he's got that big band there and the really wide stage and the, uh, he's got, you know, microphones that it's work. Really I mean, it's clever. crazy what he had. So, listen, I didn't do the emails hey, today. Hey, look, you've got a horse. Oh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what kind of horse are you talking about? You mean...
There you go. Thanks for that. No, I, I thank you for the, uh, the the horse as well. He gets a couple of hundred bucks every time. I knew about that, and I totally forgot about the dancing bit, and I did get excited about the horse. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. A live horse on stage. It's like doing Equus without all the learning the lines. <laughs> Have you ever done Equus? <laughs> it's not really a play for a girl. It's not so Not much. so much, no, no. Do you do much theatre these days? I do do plays. Really? I just did a play. When? Before you came out? <laughs> what play did you do? I did a play in New York a couple of months ago called Through a Glass Darkly. Well, that sounds very serious. It was terribly serious. Is it really? Mm. Is it very difficult when you're... <laughs> it's very difficult when you're doing a very serious play to it's not... dancing like... has messed up my hair. No, no, it hasn't. Your hair's lovely. So is yours. It's my new look. I know. <laughs> no, thanks very much. No, your hair is adorable. It's very, very nice. It's pixie-ish. Oh, yeah, you. people. A lot of people try and pull that off, and they can't do it. Yes. You know, I tried it, and I, just, I, <laughs> I looked a fool. No, you look very elfin and adorable. Thank you. See, when you're doing, I was going to ask you about a serious play, though. When you're doing a very serious play, mm. uh, do you ever get fits of the giggles at very sad, serious bits? Because I would. <laughs> Like when some very sad things are happening, if like if I heard a little like farty noise or something in there, I'd, I'd be I'd be gone. I, it's probably why I haven't been asked to do one. And a few that and a few other things. You were in New York, then. I was in New York. Did you have a nice time? It was lovely. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, um, not so much. <laughs> Controversial. I didn't know you were in Al Qaeda. <laughs> What, 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 you, don't, you don't like pizza? No, I like pizza. I just, you know, I don't like... I didn't have lots of pizza. But, but, but you had some. How long, how long were you in New York? How long were you in New York? Come on, play the game, girl. How long were you in New York? Like six months. Like six months. So in that six-month period, you must have had at least have one had, slice like, of pizza. two pizzas, maybe. At the same time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to the truth of this. You, I'm, I'm telling you, I want to know. So you had, you had, in six months, you had two pieces? Yeah, maybe two. Do you have anything else? If I what? Did you have anything else? You know, like a Apart salad? Apart pizza? Yeah. In six months? Yeah. Yeah, I might have had a bit of sushi or something. Oh, sushi, yeah. That's what it is. It's, oh, pardon me. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm. So this film then, this, this looks good. Another very serious one. As well, I know. The hell? I know. Can you do a sitcom for ten minutes or something? <laughs> That's where the money is, you know. In sitcom. Oh yeah, you know what Ashton Kutcher's getting for doing that thing? An awful lot of money. Oh, gee, like it's like fifty bucks a day or something. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy money. You can get a pizza more than twice every six months. <laughs> he could have it every day if he wanted. Every day. <laughs> You been in Britain much? I haven't. Oh. oh I've been there a bit. Yeah? Yeah. I've been in Sydney. Australia? <laughs> Sydney, Alaska. S Sydney, Alaska? Sydney, Alaska? Yeah, he's up there all right. No, yeah. <laughs> well, what were you doing in Sydney, Australia then? Um, making a film. Ah, serious, serious film about sad things? Yes. <laughs> no, it's not, not that serious. It's quite serious. It's The Great Gatsby. Oh, yeah, it's pretty serious. Yeah, I'd say that was serious. But it's got some light moments in it. Yeah. It's got opposing viewpoints, in fact, in it. And that's the sign of an excellent mind. F. Scott Fitzgerald said that. The sign of an excellent mind is to hold two opposing, opposing viewpoints at the same time. Did he say that? He might have said it. He might not have said it. <laughs> He did say it. Did he? He did say it, and he didn't say it. That's how excellent <laughs> my mind is. <laughs> you like F. Scott, did you like that Benjamin Button film? Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I didn't have the, the two days to spare to watch it either. <laughs> I'm like, I've got kids, I can't be, what was it, like four hours that movie? Or <laughs> like four hours for a movie? Excuse me. <laughs> but it has got Brad Pitt in it, he's dreamy. You don't like Brad Pitt? No, I... I, I or pizza? <laughs> I do like Brad... I do very much like Brad Pitt. Yeah. Have you ever met him? I haven't. Neither have I. <clears throat> he's, not, he's not been here. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps trying to come. I'm like, no, because you always want to bring Angie. And I'm like, no, I don't want you here. 
with kids tearing up the place, they're all running around, all... <laughs> ah, the hell with them. Do you like Hollywood? Be honest. Hollywood, Hollywood. Not the, the area, I mean the, the kind of... The oh, the business. thing. Yeah. Uh, um... Yeah. I don't I, like I went to uh, I mean I like I like I like LA a little like a little bit I like <laughs> I do I like I like it sunny yeah Good. there's a lot of places that are sunny you don't have to come here I like Dis. I went to Disneyland yesterday you did not I went to Disneyland really yeah well that's that's nice yeah. did you get one of those uh, passes to jump the line no you didn't they're so expensive <laughs> You got money. I mean, come on, you're making films. You don't spend it on pizza. I come make, on. I make serious films. Yeah, it's serious. That's true. Serious films. Not a lot of money. Not a lot of money in the serious films. That's true. You have to make real crap if you want to make dough. <laughs> Which is weird because this show is not serious and there's no money in it. I don't know, like, what the hell? You have a horse. I tell you, you're lucky I've got my new look going on or I'd be furious. <laughs> I've missed you. <laughs> I missed you so much I cancelled the commercial breaks. I'll probably get me fired, you know. That <laughs> ah, would be all right. <laughs> Ever been fired? Ever been? Yes. Really? I have. I got fired from being a waitress. Wow. <laughs> well, it, uh, it was my first night, and um, and I had a big tray, and you're not, and I had six wine glasses and two bottles of wine, and I grew up in hotels, so I said, you mustn't, it's a terrible idea, it doesn't, you mustn't ever carry wine bottles like that, or glasses, and they said, do it, and I did it, and I took it over to the table, and I just tipped the entire thing, and they, it, all the wine and all the glasses went all over the table, and they fired me on the spot. You're awesome. <laughs> Grew up in a hotel? I did. You're people travelling folk? <laughs> well, well healed travelling folk? We go from hotel to hotel across the world. Restless, always moving, always moving. <laughs> that would be awesome, wouldn't it? It'd be some, like some kind of really rich kind of nomad just going from four seasons to four seasons. <laughs> I, w I would do that. No, we, we were um, hotel management folk. Ah. I know. That's great. Well, it's kind of like faulty towers. Yes. <laughs> That's lovely. I, I, should, I, should I do some kind of TV-related thing here soon? Like stop? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Kerry, we're out, of, we're out of time, apparently. Uh, do you fancy um, a mouth organ, awkward pause, or you could go for the gig, the gig, the big cash prize? Is there a big cash prize? Oh, yeah. Oh, big cash prize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 US dollars in singles, acceptable at any strip club in the United States. <laughs> All you have to do is answer one question. Okay. All right. I Here thought you were joking. No, it's real. It's real money. Look, smell it. I don't have any money. I mean, I do. I mean, I, do. I just came from Sydney, so I don't have any. You don't have any money. Well, there you are, then. There's, there's, uh... Smells odd. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, Matt Smith was here last night, and he smelled it. Doctor Who, Matt. Yeah, Smith. Doctor Who, Matt. You know, because you were in Doctor Who. You did the... I was in Doctor Who before. Oh Matt yeah, it was David Tennant. No, yeah. Doctor Who. Well, yeah. still Doctor Who. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, they're both fantastic. They're both brilliant. Yes. <clears throat> Good night, everybody. Uh... <laughs> All right, then. You have to answer one question, and you can win the $50. Is it trivial? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes is the answer. Look at this show. Yes, of course it's trivial. I don't mean it. You know what I mean. All right, then. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Oh, no. It's wait, 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 wait. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yeah. By what nickname oh. is Barbara Millicent Rogers known? <laughs> Barbara Millicent Rogers. By what nickname is she, the doll with the boyfriend Ken, known? Barbie! Yes! $50, Kerry Morgan! Hooray! 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 Hooray!
Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Dr. Ferguson's House of Pain. <laughs> I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to do it. I'm, I want to be in a serious movie. <laughs> Let me do it again. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> My next guest is a very funny comedian. <laughs> <laughs> She's at the uh, Mardi Gras Casino in Hallandale Beach in Florida on October the 22nd. Please welcome the adorable and lively and lovely and delicious Paula Poundstone, everybody. Paula. to be here. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, the anxiety I feel. I just, I was standing just around the corner. That's, I don't know if you've ever gone on a tour, but I, I was just around the corner, and the anxiety you feel while you watch the rest of the show, just wanting, you know, to be a part of the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just wanting to be liked. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just wanting to bond. Wanting to bond. I'm going to tell you something. It, it's so nice to be here. See, that's the kind of thing you say when you want to bond. <laughs> to be here. <laughs> love, I love to be here for one thing because I get to stay at home and I've been traveling a lot lately. I was just in Alaska. No way! No way! I'm going to tell you something. I ordered a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered a pizza and it was delivered by a Russian woman. <laughs> All I could think was Sarah Palin must have stepped away from the windowsill for a couple of minutes there in the kitchen. <laughs> Even though I heard she never actually said that. <laughs> Tina Fey must have stepped away from the kitchen for a couple of minutes. I, mean, I try so hard to keep up what's going on. Uh, you know, the Republican, <laughs> yet another Republican, uh, what are they called? Debate. Uh, it's, it's, very hard to, it's very hard to follow the Republican field. It's like watching a front-loading dryer. <laughs> It, 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 it's, it's Romney, it's Bachman, it, it's Perry, it's Kane, it's a sock! <laughs> Very hard to follow, I, I think. I, uh, it's hard to follow the news because there's so much junk news that gets in the way. That's, that's part of it. I, like, I was in the airport the other day and I saw, I saw a magazine with Princess Kate's picture on the cover and it said that she was exhausted. <laughs> and it listed the things that were exhausting her. The first one was grueling etiquette training. <laughs> How does that look? It's very nice to meet you. Again! <laughs> it's very nice to meet Again! <laughs> and the second one was she's trying to get pregnant. Well, she should have seen that coming. <laughs> and if she thinks she's exhausted now, wait till she has kids. I bet your royal whining is a lot worse than regular kid whining. <laughs> but I don't to be a figurehead. I want to have domain. <laughs> I was helping my kids, uh, with one of my kids the other day, I was helping her with fractions. And uh, just, just, just grueling. Absolutely grueling. I stumbled out of the room to tweet therapeutically. <laughs> and I tweeted that I was helping my kid with fractions and somebody tweeted back to me. They said uh, they never used fractions in their adult life. Like as if I were burdening my daughter with some unnecessary education. I, I tweeted back to the guy. I, I said, we're working on halves. <laughs> which I think she'll need for in the event of a messy divorce. <laughs> if there's a lawyer involved, she might need thirds. <laughs> I was a lousy student. I, I, I was a lousy student. I, I took a Shakespeare class and didn't understand a word of it. And, and you know, we had these kind of books where there was the text of the play on one page and then an explanation on the other. And I still didn't understand it. And they're both in English. <laughs> We would, I, we would never do that to another country. I think that was just the British people getting back at us. <laughs> we would never make them study something they couldn't possibly understand. What do we give them? Elvis. <laughs> you ain't nothing that 
that nothing <laughs> but or other than a hound dog. <laughs> That's the kind of dog one might hunt a fox with. <laughs> that's crying all the time, constantly weeping. Watch for it, here's the betrayal. You ain't never caught a rabbit. That means you have not caught a rabbit. So you ain't no friend of mine. Wants his friend to catch a rabbit, well, but will his friend catch a rabbit? No, his friend will not catch a rabbit! And so Elvis will not be his friend! I'm here with uh, Paula Poundstone. Yes, uh, Four quest different people that work on this show, four different people came over to me and said, Craig will walk over, because they skipped the commercial break, they said. Yeah. Because of the woman who doesn't really like pizza and is not, face it, <laughs> an American. Right, and, right, uh, right. They said, and they said, he'll, he'll, he'll come over to you. That's what they said. Four different well, people. Well, look, 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 look. I look. stood there waiting. <laughs> Here's the thing, I, after... if I go over there, <clears throat> I'm just going to have to come back here. And you're going to have to come back here anyway, so why don't you just come over here? Why do I have to walk over and come back here? It's because I'm an immigrant, isn't it? I'm an immigrant, and immigrants have to work twice as hard as native-born Americans. You can just walk over here, but oh no, I'm doing the job that native-born Americans don't want to do, which is walk over there and come back there. No, no, no. You refused to walk over, and now you're going to hire a trainer. <laughs> Why would I? Four different people said it to me. Four different people I, said, well, Craig's going to walk over. And I believe I presented to you. We've got some new interns. That, that may be it. <laughs> what was the phrase you used when you told no pokey? What was it you said? Jiggery pokery. Jiggery pokery. Yes, it's every that phrase. That was so well put, I thought. <laughs> I wonder, you know, uh, with the budget cutting and all the programs, my daughter volunteers at the Santa Monica Animal Shelter. Wow. And I, now, legally, they have to have the dogs and cats fixed before they can leave. But I was thinking, if they just brought you in to make your jiggery pokery speech. <laughs> or, jiggery or we had the interns fixed and I wouldn't have to make the speech. <laughs> Different pe I presented to you when I first came on that I wanted to be liked, I wanted to fit in. I finished my set, there I stand, waiting for you to walk home. Well, I, look. Wait a minute. I told you why I didn't come over there, because I would just have to come back here. And what you probably don't know is I have an injured leg. Ah, you think I'm lying? Right, well, let I'm me show wait you. Wait over here. come over there with my injured leg. Oh, my God! It's a contusion of some sort. It looks like jiggery-pokery. Let's, let's not this, forget these. This is unbelievable. Yeah! Not, Check these babies out. They're new! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, how do you like that now with your fancy ties? Hey, right. Check this thing out. No, tell me, how did you injure your leg? Uh, I actually, I was at the kids camp out and I banged into something, uh, a kid. Um, <laughs> we can, uh, you were at a kids camp out? Kids camp out, yeah. The, the, school, the school have a camp out. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, with the kids. Oh, it's like my Burning God. Man for little people. No, yeah. it's just with, yeah. the, with the camp out and the 40, it's, for, it's 40 dollars. Every time they go to do anything, it's $40. Have you noticed that? $40? 40? When's the last time you were at a kid's got $40? No. $40? You wouldn't, even get, you wouldn't even get half of your kid there for $40. Every 
time my kid, every morning I have to sign something. Every morning I have to sign a permission slip. Have you, have you do? I'm a parent. I'm I have to them. sign a permission yeah. slip every morning. And it's for stuff like I don't even understand. I said, didn't I sign this yesterday? Yeah. It's every day. And you're signing stuff. I don't even know. I signed one the other day that said that they were going on a trip and that if my kid was killed, I wouldn't be that upset about it. <laughs> Did you sign your uh, slip before you came out here tonight, by the way? Uh, yeah, you had to, I had to sign a thing before I came out here. That's right. I did have to sign a th Yeah, the thing that says, I don't have to walk over there and get you. <laughs> Four all right. different all people. All right, all right. What do you want? Mouth organ, awkward pause, big cash prize. I'd go for the cash prize. You've got a lot of kids. Uh, well, I could use the cash prize because there's a kid's camp out coming up. Well, there you are. Fifty single dollars. You right, asked, uh, I think you should, by the way, include rat's ass, because I like that when you said I don't give a rat's ass. That could be a fourth choice. I can't put rat's ass, but I can put in kangaroo testicles. <laughs> Slightly smaller than regular kangaroo testicles because they've been to the North Pole. This, this cool. is my lucky day. No, you're not getting them. No. <laughs> but I'll give you a glittery ball. Okay. The backup one. <laughs> no, I'm not giving you eggs. It's a fifty dollars. Okay, That's enough. No. Okay. Take the fifty dollars. Oh. All right, um, let's see. I would have gotten the Barbie one wrong, by the way. Well, this one's a lot easier. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Yes. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Within 100 years, when did the Parliament of Iceland first convene? <laughs> You're fine, it's within 100 years. <laughs> Um, within a hundred years, yeah. when did the parliament first convene? Yeah, yeah, that's what I just said to you. Yeah. Barbie? <laughs> um, that actually... 930 A.D. Yes. Nine, yes. 930 A.D. Yes. 930 A.D. is actually rhyming slang in Britain for Barbie. 930 yes. A.D. Barbie. Yeah. When my kids were little, they always wanted a 930 A.D. doll. Go get yourself something, oh. Freddie. The lovely Paul Pines on everybody. We'll be right back. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> well, Jeff, they got the new It Couple for America right here. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, whatever. Didn't think it was possible, but you're actually thinner than I am. What the hell, man? Hey, that what was the my hell? girl, man. That was my girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's right. <laughs> yeah, kind of, I completely... kind of a minor plot point. <laughs> I completely forgot that you two guys used to go out for an episode. <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, Alex has moved on. Maybe you should. That looks like you like a little ginger in your coffee there, Alex. <laughs> Guess if you're into dudes that look like Opie. <laughs> this is like a reality show with freaks. Because <laughs> oh, there's no freaks on any other reality show. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite of what's true. Your hand just moved, which is weird because this is the one that doesn't move. <laughs> Must just be a spasm. <laughs> I'm, pl I'm plugged in. I can go longer. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Say good night, kids. Yeah.